Hi, my name is Bartley Kivas. I'm a reporter with the Winnipeg Free Press. I'm an author, an occasional broadcaster, and now the co-author of a new book called Stuck in the Middle, Dissenting Views of Winnipeg. And uh, I'm Brian Scott. I've been photographing the city for the better part of the last 10 years or so. And uh, I post those, those photos online on my website, Winnipeg Love Hate. We're taking a warts and all look of Winnipeg as it really is for people who really live here and love it the way it is. Not how it should be, but how it is. We focus a lot on parts of the city that are a little bit more gritty or a little bit more grungy than you would normally find in a book like this or, uh, or a typical Winnipeg postcards. The whole idea behind Stuck in the Middle is that Winnipeg is geographically in the middle of the continent, which we all know, heart of the continent, yada, yada, yada. We're also stuck between this past where everybody thought this was going to be a huge city. It was the second largest city in growth, second fastest growing city in North America, rather, at one point, and a future that could be a lot better right now after, after almost 100 years of stagnation. I think we're also stuck in the middle uh, in terms of size. You know, we're not New York City. We're not a bustling metropolis. Uh, but we're also not a small town, a small folksy town where everybody knows each other. We've taken pictures of some iconic places and some less iconic places, and we talk about things that have worked tremendously well, like the preservation of the Exchange District with all these cool buildings. One of my favorite photos, but I uh, climbed up into the parkade just down the street and uh, took a photo of the, uh, the old Albert Street business block before it burnt down, obviously. And uh, it's since become um, probably my, my most popular photo. Well, what I really like about it is Part of what it captures is gone right now. Now, one of the themes in the book, uh, we even have a chapter called Things That We Destroyed. Shanghai Restaurant Building was great, and we just said, ah, we didn't like that anymore. Um, we knocked down the stadium. Well, it had to go. We knocked down the arena. Well, it had to go. Let's just knock stuff down. We kind of let things go. So we sort of end up with this patchwork city, a downtown that has, like, uh, as John K. Sampson said, buildings gone missing like teeth. My city is still breathing, but barely it's true. Through buildings gone missing like teeth. The sidewalks. So we're looking at Winnipeg for Winnipeggers, the way they know the, the city, the way they love the city. Things that didn't work as well, like this really cool cube stage behind us, which was built and it looks really cool, but it doesn't, the curtains don't really go up, and musicians call it the cheese grater, because if you get up against that metal skin, you end up flayed like a Roman torture victim. It's got cool things about it, it's got some horrible things about it, like Portage and Main standing behind us, which you cannot cross. Uh, you could try to cross, but well, you might be running across traffic like Frogger. We think people that, that love Winnipeg for the way it is, uh, accept it for what it is, are really gonna like this book. Uh, whether they live here or whether they've uh, moved away and uh, are feeling particularly nostalgic about uh, their hometown. And people who absolutely hate this book won't read it, so we'll be fine. We'll be in the clear. And just in case, send all your hate mail, Brian Scott at... No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that to you, Brian. People know where to find me, unfortunately.